So hi everyone, it's Mike Newcomb again from the Japan Society of New York. Um, I know it's been a while, but you might remember me from interviews with Laura Bailey, uh, Travis Willingham, uh, Roland Keltz, and Yoshiyuki Tamino. Actually, you won't remember the Yoshiyuki Tamino interview. That was um, really awkward, and that never made it onto the internet, thankfully. Oh, uh, boy. So I'm still here at Japan Society. Um, and they've given me my own cubicle, but at the moment it is... <sighs> Spartan. The whole reason why we're going to do this video series is to show you there's some really interesting things about Japanese culture going on in the big city of New York. Um, but right now we have interesting things going on in Japan society too, uh, like the Kuniyoshi exhibit, Graphic Heroes and Magic Monsters. That title is B.A. And, and anybody who visited our booth during uh, the 2009 New York Anime Festival will remember that we were handing out cards for it, and I hope you guys still have them. Um, so I'm not actually allowed to film any prints from the Utagawa Kuniyoshi exhibit. Ta-da! But we do have really uh, some really great um, art cards. Um, there's four. Uh, gotta collect them all. Um, or catch them all. Is that, tra is that statement? Gotta catch them all. I'm not finishing the sentence because it's probably trademarked. Um, next week, uh, we're going to try and talk to Hiroki Otsuka. He is also going to be a, a, an artist in residence during the entire time the exhibit's up. And he's going to be giving workshops that are open to the public. You can sign up and uh, further develop your manga drawing skills. Or if you're a novice, uh, you can start out from Resh. Uh, he's going to be doing canvas pieces that are inspired by Kuniyoshi's work. But until next time... Uh, this is Mike Newcomb from the Japan Society of New York. Talk to you guys later.